Today I have the pleasure of narrating a detective video for Hannah Brewer and her dog Luna. They have got 50 detective cues, which is insane. Um, I was looking at how many Iona has and she only has 15. 50 is so many. I've never heard of any other team with this many detective cues, so congratulations. Um, I was asked to narrate um, this run for them. It was their 48th detective cue, if you can believe that. And um, I'm really excited to talk to you guys about what I see, so let's get into it. Okay, so watch for this change of behavior. Boom, right there, a nice crisp change of behavior. And a double back. So this tells us there's odor in this room. As you watch Luna's behavior, it becomes fairly apparent right there. So she gets out of odor, right? She gets into odor. There's a ton of odor in this room. There's a tricky problem in here. And Hannah is doing a really nice job at not crowding. So if you'll notice, she takes steps back. She gives her space to work. And when Luna leaves the room, she's like, fine, I'll go with you, which is the right move to do. Um, she knows that she's coming back to this room later to figure out this problem. So Luna runs into this big room and just picks off an easy hide. Accessible, underneath the chair, bam. Um, this is great for this team because it gives them a lot of confidence, both the handler and the dog. We've all been there. Once you find that first hide, um, then you're like, okay, we got this. And look at Luna. She has such a great memory for odor. She goes back to that original room, right? And she's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work this a little bit further. Watching this video, I thought, oh, maybe the, the video, the, the hide is in the threshold. No, it's on this like heater thing. So I don't know if that was a heater that was on or a fan, but regardless, it would make sense that it's filling that whole room up with odor, even if there was just the airflow from that door opening and closing. Um, that room has kind of become a pooling odor. So um, Hannah does a nice job clearing that room, so now she knows she doesn't have to go back in there. Very cool. Um, let's see what Luna does next. She gets right into another scent cone, like classic Brittany, right? And she's showing us some really, really nice inaccessible behavior. She goes around the chair, which is my one of the things I drives me crazy about Iona, but Hannah handles it nicely. She just drops the leaves and picks it back up like no big deal. It's, I think she's done that a few times. So here, Luna is um, not in odor. So she is smelling some something else, and um, Hannah can read her very clearly and says, hey, get back to work. Check this out next. Luna says, this is an inaccessible hide. Let me go around to the other side and check it out. What a smart dog. Like, that's awesome, right? So I love it when you see dogs do that. And um, they both, I think, have that catalog that they need to go back into that room later and get that hide. Here's another simple, accessible hide. Bam. Um, it's so fun for me to watch another Brittany run because they are just, they're so enjoyable. They love searching. You can just see it in this dog. Look at that like little leaf thing. Um, they just love this. It's in their blood and this is such a great sport for them. I love watching them run because I love seeing what Iona would look like if she had this magnificent tail. So um, it's really, it's really enjoyable for me. Um, so. Reading Hannah's behavior, I think she thinks there's a hide in where this jumble of chairs is because I probably would put a hide there and I would expect there to be a hide there. Luna is showing some that she's in another scent coat, right? Um, but Hannah does a great job of giving her space and she works it back to this accessible hide. She sources it perfectly. She's sticky to the hide and makes calling that hide very easy. So a great job on both of them then. Like no big surprise. They have, you know, 50 of these under their belt. So now they're going back to this inaccessible hide area and Hannah is doing a nice job. You see she gives her space. She's all the way at the end of her line, waits for the dog to push in that deep push all the way in under there and then calls alert. So a great job calling that inaccessible hide. These are always tricky, um, but it ended up just being the perfect call. I love how Luna is always going around. Watch this, watch this move right here. Like squeezes in between the judge and the wall. Like that's like that's such a classic Brittany move. They don't care. They're just like, I'm getting in there. I'm following her. And then you can see, so like, 
see that look at her right there so you can see that you know her energy for the search in this area is starting to wane a little bit because um i think she's found them all and so you know this is where hannah's thinking you know should i mop this up so you see luna starts refinding hides so this is always good information for the handler which tells you that you know we're probably done or close to it so you know check any areas that you haven't checked and then think about moving to the next area. So Luna is obviously a younger dog than Iona, and you see this when she goes outside. So she gets outside and she's like, I'm crittering right here, <laughs> immediately off the gate. And so Hannah does a nice job of redirecting her. Um, if you look at the flags, and if you look in the top right of this frame, you'll see um, the uh, large American flag in the corner, and it tells us that she is indeed in a scent cone here. So um, you can see she catches odor, works it back to source, and Hannah calls alert. Um, this is a fairly small exterior, but it looks kind of tricky because it looks like a great spot for a dog to pee. Um, and there's obviously some um, um, critter, critters here. And you can see that you know Luna's doing a little bit of crittering, um, but Hannah's doing a great job at keeping her focused. Um, right there, obviously, alert. Bam. And then you're going to see this crotering right here. Crotering is crittering and odoring. Um, you can see she starts getting birdie. And then watch this. Right about here, you can see that she's getting really interested in this bush. And Hannah's like, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> we're, we're going back to work. Um, she catches odor, a new scent cone right there. Very, extremely easy to read. Um, and then sources it and then alerts. Um, but it's kind of a soft, mushy alert. So Hannah's like, I'm not super happy with that. And Luna moves on. So Hannah makes a nice job decision of saying, hey, let's go over here and check this out. We'll come back. And then when Luna alerts again, she feels comfortable saying alert. So, you know, this is something to know that if you ever have a question about alert, it's always better to not call it and leave, come back and um, see what your dog does again. Um, here um, Luna starts being very clear that they're done searching. Um, she starts um, she starts crittering a little bit and Hannah makes the wise call of um, calling finish. The car isn't in the search area. So um, congratulations Hannah and Luna on such an awesome um, detective run and on 50 detective hides. Um, make all of our Sprintney owners proud. Nice job. Yay!